All right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's make a quick video here. <clears throat> you know, you know me, quick videos. So uh, I watched this duel. This is with the, uh, I do believe this is with the 50% uh, damage reduction, uh, quote unquote aura buff, whatever you want to call it. But it is a decent example of a paladin actually dueling uh, correctly in the sense that um, from like a Mana War perspective, right? So I just got done making a, a, a Paladin Mana War guide, and our boy here is going to basically uh, be showcasing this in no uncertain terms. I'll press play, and I will turn off uh, the volume. So our boy here is going to be dueling a Druid. Uh, you can see that he is putting uh, Judgment of Wisdom on the Druid uh, very, very quickly. He likes dueling without uh, HUDs on him, so it is what it is. I have no idea. Did this druid just go invisible with like a gnomish uh, invisibility trinket or something like that? No idea what's going on there. Um, but pause in the video really uh, quickly. You can see that our boy here is using Sacred Shield. Uh, thank God. He is using, uh, he is worshiping it at the altar of Sacred Shield. He's doing it right. Um, he's getting his hots rolling. And once he has his hots, he's pushing in on, on, on the uh, opposing, he's pushing in on the enemy. Um, everything here is perfectly fine. And everything that he's going to be doing is generally perfectly fine. The only thing I'm not liking is I suspect, uh, and I'll, I'll watch for it specifically, but I sp suspect he has Crusader Strike. Um, if I see his mana bar suddenly shoot up, I have to assume he has Crusader Strike. There's no bars here. So we're at 76%. 70, okay, yeah, yeah. It just shot up all of a sudden. That's Crusader Strike. Okay, cool. Uh, well, that's not even true. He could have gotten mana back from the... I suppose I'm looking for... Crusader Strike. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. I just have to assume the Crusader Strike is involved here. Um, so, Judgment of Wisdom has a 50% chance to proc regardless of, of your weapon speed. Um, but it can proc off of just about everything in its dog, right? So, Crusader Strike will proc it, um, Divine Storm will proc it, Seal of Martyrdom will proc it. So, all these 46 manas um, that are happening right now are all from uh, Judgment of Wisdom on the target. Uh, two of these are probably from Seal of Martyrdom doing its thing, and one of these is probably uh, from, from Crusader Strike. Um, but you can see that the sheer amount of mana regeneration here is absolutely terrifying. Our boy is low life. Um, as you know, I prefer a Hand of Reckoning. This is precisely where, where Hand of Reckoning would be, like, you know, active. She's been active for quite some time at this point. Um, the Hots, she's got double Hots rolling. Eh, I don't know about that, but, yeah, we'll just press play here. We'll be here forever. Okay, good boy. Heals himself, gets the double crits, gets the Hots rolling. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we're just pushing in. Of course, uh, when we have to stop to heal ourselves, we are not... Uh, mana vampirizing anywhere near as much because we're not physically on top of the enemy. It allows them to, uh, to free cast. Uh, we like our enemies free casting into us. If they want to give us, well, not so much with a druid, but if they want to give us uh, their mana in the form of damage and we've geared and, and uh, wearing the right runes and playing correctly, we're, we're kind of happy about the situation. What we're not happy about, of course, is the fact that uh, we're not beating on him with um, and, and regenerating the mana and doing DPS. Okay, so now that I'm really thinking about it, since this is a deep ret paladin, we cannot afford to go um, hand of reckoning. And the reason why we can't afford to go a hand of reckoning is because our damn judgment of wisdom will fall off because we don't have um, lasting judgments uh, from the talent tree. So we have to use Crusader Strike to allow this thing to last 30 seconds on the target, which will save us a, a ton of mana. Um, so at, in that, what I'm trying to say is for a Deep Rep Paladin, our boy here is making no mistakes whatsoever. The only mistake and the only criticism I'm going to have, period, is that he never comes out with a one-handed weapon like a flurry axe or a uh, or whatever, a fast one-handed weapon with seal of martyrdom, so they can really get his mana uh, vampirism on. And as you're going to see eventually, that is going to hurt him. But doing damage is fine. The crusader strikes are fine. Everything here is fine. He's doing precisely what he needs to do. He's flash of lighting when he can flash of light. Um, Druid's going to get away. There's nothing we can do about that. Um, you can see he freedomed himself when he didn't really need to. That's a bit of a waste of mana. You're usually, um, unironically against druids, you're often better off just, unless they've literally put you, um, in a root. 
you're usually better off just not dicking around with freedom on them. Like you're not really gaining all that much. In the grand scheme of things, you could think about it like... I'm not entirely sure I'm 100% correct with what I'm about to say here. Let me think about this. So what I want to say is uh, it might be better off saving the mana and maintaining Blessing of Might because Blessing of Might is going to give us uh, more spell power here and increase our mana efficiency. If we're slowed or rooted in place, it's like, okay, whatever, we're just going to heal ourselves. In theory, when we're pressing W towards uh, enemy uh, caster classes, we're... We're reducing the amount of incoming DPS uh, significantly. Um, but again, we don't really care if they're giving us their their DPS in the form of, of mana expenditure, especially with this 50% uh, um, a reduction. Uh, our mana efficiency will, will just be fine there. The only problem with this statement, of course, is we're fighting a fucking druid, um, which means they get to put, cast free wraths in, in, into you, which is kind of suck and terrifying. So I don't even know if that statement's correct, but it's definitely something we should keep in mind. Gets a stun proc, gets a free wrath out. The wraths are kind of hurting, but you can see our flashes of light are, are doing their damn job. Our sacred shield is doing its job. This is a really thick sacred shield. This thing is... I, I'm curious what the HP on this sacred shield is. I'll try to let it proc. I want to hear it absorb. I'm looking at his health bar. I, I, want, to, I want the phrase absorb. Ooh, okay, yeah. There it is. So you can see he took 8 damage from something there. Okay, 8 damage. And then he eats something, but it's like a full absorb. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I'm not really sure what Gary, Gary's wearing. But other than that, it's fine. Everything's fine. Like, is he wearing the spell power gear? Is he wearing the, the uh, uh, spell power plus healing mix? Is he wearing uh, spell power uh, a strength mix? Um, when he's full life, what is his HP level? Ugh. Let's see. I think he's only 3,500 HP before he starts the fight. Yeah. 3,356 HP. Holy balls. That is insanely low. Okay, so he's all in on the DPS, basically. All right, so he might not even be geared properly for this fight, and yet he's performing just fine. This is actually very interesting to me. Because, um, again, uh, with my Paladin proposal... Um, you, with this weapon, you would have, like, uh, damn near 4,000 hit points. You've got, like, 400, uh, uh, a plus healing. Uh, you've got, like, 200 spell power. But you don't have, like, you know, uh, very good critical strike chance and all that stuff. So the fact that he's out here with, su with such a low HP bar is interesting. It really means he's prioritizing, uh, damage over healing efficiency. Uh, I don't really like that, but we'll see, we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Where were we? Where were we? Where were we? Yeah, there were we. Okay. You can see he's doing just fine. Everything's fine. Because uh, homie took Sacred Shield, and homie knows how to use Sacred Shield. So, pff, I mean, it is what it is, right? He's like, oh my god, I know how to use Sacred Shield? Yeah, yeah, just just eat it. Mm. Good stuff. Alright, so you can see that we're super low mana here, and the Druid still has tons of mana, right? We need to go one-hander and try to regenerate as much mana as we possibly can with Seal of Martyrdom. You're not actually going to lose all that much DPS from going two-handed uh, uh, to one-handed, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, okay, so there's the Crusader Strike mana. So this 101 mana is Crusader Strike mana. The He's got double proc from Seal of Martyrdom. Or one, at, well, okay, he probably had one proc from Seal of Martyrdom and then probably Crusader Strike proc or something, right? There was three 50% dice rolls and he only got two of them. And then this 14 mana is just from uh, Seal of Martyrdom, uh, two-handed bitch lap in, in general. It's a lot of mana. And uh, we like this, but it could be a lot more mana if we were going uh, uh, fast one-hander. Just pointing that out. So we get to sit on him for a while. We really need this mana right now. So, ooh. Was that exorcism? Bruh. Ah, oh, yeah, he's exorciming. <sighs> Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think that's good. Uh, you're 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 much better off. Um, again, uh, going one-handed sword and board. Um, so you're much better off going uh, one-handed with a shield and taking uh, Avengers specifically against Druid. Well, it's just about everything, but it's specifically against Druid um, because of how much mana it costs them 
to shift their form and run away. And if they don't shift their form and get out of the Avenger's shield, it's like a double shift cost, which is really bad, and get distance from you. You're just going to get on them with a one-handed weapon and just, just start mana vamping all over the place. So our boy's doing some things right, and in my assessment, he's doing other things not right. But you can see it's just a complete waste of mana, uh, of what he did. Um, the Druid, you're in a mana war. Right? This druid is not going to die until he ooms, and you need to respect and, and gear and lean into that accordingly. Meaning, if you're physically on top of him, you need to be using a one-hander. You probably should be using Avenger Shield, because it's going to have more of an effect on him, um, on your enemy, than, than Exorcism will. Right? You follow me on this? This duel should, nowhere, should be nowhere near this close. Nowhere near this close. Mana Potion? Okay, uh, acceptable. Yeah, but it's it's just interesting to watch um, how how we're doing certain things right. I've got a bubble going. That's cool. That's cool. We're doing some things right, and we're doing other things not so right. Um, he eventually asks if he can, if he can lay on hands. He's gonna do that momentarily, well. the like right when they get over here. He's gonna Optimus ask for lay on hands. Well. Allows for the free ramp. Just wants to kite away. Doesn't risk the starfire. Doesn't want to allow the distance to be closed there. Repentance comes out, and that decision has been made for Moonfire. Out of resources. Big fucking dodge. Can he connect? It seems like he's just getting a little bit of mana back every time he needs it. Every time he needs it, baby. Yeah, you can see, however, that the Judgment of Wisdom fell off at some point. Let's go back to where it was. I think it's when he was doing the bubble stuff. So he's got the Judgment of Wisdom on him here. Oh, damn. Okay. So, what happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, out goes the Judgment of Wisdom, but he didn't Crusader Strike him to refresh it. That's a big goddamn mistake. Holy balls. So the whole reason he's in trouble over here is because Wisdom, uh, uh, Judgment of Wisdom fell off. Got it. Because he should be get regenerating so much mana right now, but he's not. Interesting, interesting. Big fucking dodge. Can he connect? It seems like he's just getting a little bit of mana back every time he needs it. Every time he needs it, baby. But Moonfire can operate in this Crusader Strike. Too. What do you do? Can really scary now. Dodge? really scary like any mistake cannot be criticized right now because your heart's just pounding oh my goodness nice can i lay on hand yeah 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 <laughs> oh shit yeah and you can see now that he's going to get some mana back his his next this whole time he's been in the situation he's probably just been like Motherfucker, I don't have judgment of uh, wisdom on this guy. I don't have judgment of wisdom on him. I don't have judgment. Fucking hell, I don't have judgment. How did I let the judgment? Fuck off. So, as soon as he gets even the slightest bit of mana back, he's going to go for the kill right now. But very quickly, he needs to be thinking judgment of wisdom. For justice. Light. By the light. By the light. No, by the wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> By the wisdom, come on, bro. Put put Judge Wisdom back on him. Yeah, there you go. Up comes the wisdom. We're gonna hit him a little bit. So the seventy ones. Uh, that's a good question. What the? Oh, okay. So when you're using hmm, Seal of Wisdom, um, is PPM with your weapon speed, right? So if you're swinging a four second weapon speed, she's got a a one hundred percent chance to proc. And if you're swinging with like a, a 3.6 or 3.8 weapon speed, she's like a 90% chance to proc. So uh, one of these 71s is his, his, his white auto attack proccing at like a 90% chance to proc. The other 71 is Crusader Strike at a 90% chance to proc. And of course the 101 mana is from Crusader Strike itself. Um, now that we've done that little uh, thing, we need to judge a wisdom into the target. There she is. And we need to get back into Seal of Martyrdom. And there we are. And uh, we have it all set up very nicely. Now, he grenaded us specifically um, because uh, he's hoping this judgment of wisdom is fall off. If our druid was playing smart here, he wouldn't have stopped 
he would have just kept running to try to use up uh, this judgment uh, of wisdom. It, um, our paladin's being a little greedy here, obviously, right? Because he hasn't set it to 30 seconds yet with Crusader Strike. He immediately activated um, Seal of Wisdom um, and then uh, went for the bonus mana immediately. Um, but Yield. if, if our druid is smart, you just keep running and let this fall off. Okay, out comes the repent, so he made, he made, hit him, hit him, hit, him, hit him, what the fuck, thank god, holy shit, bro, you're, you're, all. Oh. we can't let this thing fall off, like, what the fuck are we doing? What are we doing with our lives? Yeah, 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 so from what I'm seeing, the main mistake was we let wisdom fall off, um, for a little bit too long there. And uh, there's a gearing error as well. And also, um, uh, we're not using one-handed um, anywhere near as much as we should be using. But, as you can see, the Man of War, it, it, it's just going on. Basically, we had to use LOH. We shouldn't have had to use LOH. We had to use a Mana Potion. We should not, not have had to use a Mana Potion. We should be geared better. There's lots of little mistakes here, but it doesn't really matter because we're we're still able to get the job done. So, definitely, definitely hats off. By the way, I'm playing this with no HUD and fire. Come on, Ark. Ark, have you? Ark's a fun. Hammer Rath, he keeps going back and forth. He's got that seal of wisdom down, trying to get nah, back. we need to get those hots going. Get the back. Here's the big hot. Can he finish it all? Come on. Show him where the light go. Big gun, yes, man. Hammer Rath. Get him. Get him. Nice. <laughs> and of course, the, the big mistake here is that we actually have exorcism and we're not using Avenger Shield. You are in a fucking man of war and you need to respect it, right? You can see our druid boy here basically dies when he ooms. They die when they oom, and they're not going to die before they oom. And Avenger Shield is just going to do more for you in ooming them than just about anything else. Um, definitely do a hell of a lot more than, than exorcism. Um, so if you want to use, like, against a druid specifically, I would go, um, uh, Wrath, right? The, the, the rune that makes your hammer of Wrath instant cast, and they re reset when the enemy is low life. Um, just because that's going to be a hell of a lot more threatening. Um, uh, to, at least it'll be threatening, and I don't have to waste mana on it until it, it needs to be threatening. Um, and then rather than exorcism, you want to take, uh, Avenger shield because it's going to do so much more for you than exorcism. Exorcism wastes a ton of your mana. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage to them and they can very easily out heal it. Um, it's, it's, it's not as threatening as, as we would like it to be. Um, it, it's more threatening if we have more mana. You can see his, his mana bar is quite healthy. I think he, he mana potted, um, at some point here. Probably a chug mana pot right here. Yep. That's a mana potion. Um, he might actually have hammers of brass. So I'm, I'm not just I'm not paying attention. Are those, those hammers? I don't know what's going on here. So up comes the mana potion. I think that was a wrath. He, yeah, yeah, and another wrath. Okay, good. So we did take wrath. Okay, that's fine then. I, I agree with that. But um, yeah, one hander Avenger shield all the way, and then you can take Crusader Strike and and, and Sheath of Light um, um from there. And you're just going to do so much better. So, 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 so much better in my opinion. Anyways, um, let's end this fight. Congratulations. And uh, day is full. Yeah, that was a good fight. Holy shit. Yeah, that was a good fight. Way closer than it needed to be, though. Yeah, I feel like that's disrespectful, you know? It is disrespectful. Yeah, if you have to LOH to win a duel, you technically lost. Straight up. Any, any paladin that, that, that doesn't... You know, all top tier paladins think this way. Means, means we lost. Board, you know, means we lost. Good. Means we lost. Alright, so I made a video here and uh, Deus Hold Boys. But yeah, very interesting stuff. Um, man of War, Man of War, Man of War. Uh, learn to love the Man of War. Because uh, Blizzard's forced... Bl I find it amusing that Blizzard's forced all you rep paladins into the wonderful wide world of Man of Warring. <laughs> and so now I have to just beat you guys. I've been I've been trying to beat you guys in the head with Sacred Shield for a long time now, but now I need to start trying to beat uh, you guys in the head with uh, use your damn one-handed weapons. I'm like, what is this? Anyways, I'll end the video here and uh, day is whole, boys.